Good morning from sunny Gotek in is. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it is sunny. We're on our way back towards um, Finike and uh, Gotek is one of the places that we really like to go. But it's better at the beginning of the season or the end of the season, otherwise it's... It was still quite busy here, but yeah, know, it should yeah. start to empty out the next few days. It can be like boat soup, can't yeah, it? it can be. <laughs> so this week's video is a top tip for you. We, um, our outboard had, we made a set of straps to lift it with on our engine hoist and uh, we really weren't happy, were we? No, because they slipped. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they slipped quite a bit and, you know, the webbing deteriorates with the UV light so we wanted something that was a bit more permanent and a better solution so hopefully this will work and um, well tell us what you think in the comments oh um, and there was a bit of a fire only a bit of a fire <laughs> but we'll show you in the video enjoy the video we'll see you at the end outboard lifting harnesses come in all shapes and sizes a lot of these have plastic buckles or clips on them some of them have metal clips and actually some of them can do damage to the outside of your outboard like this one the metal scratches the paintwork none of these are robust and so what did we do we decided to make our own Always handy to carry a few nuts and bolts and put everything in the place and a place for everything. Now, what we're we looking for that's it, that's one. There's always one more in this box. Come on, where are you? Stop riding. Nope. Nope. Ah, it's in here. Gotta do one more. There it is. One more. Socket pan heads. Yep. We're on a mission. Can you guess what we're doing? There's a bit of a clue in the heads of these. That one's actually, looks like it's, let's swap that one. There we are. So there's a bit of a clue in these. They need to be ergonomic, smooth on that side got some fairly hard plastic washers there stainless steel washers there 316 automatic center punch allen keys and I've got the drill out could be exciting Going on, but it doesn't look good. So I've just got back from the garage where I bought some oil to uh, change the oil in the outboard, and about 10 fire engines came past me. Now there's um, now there's helicopters with water bags underneath. Just see this one here. It's the only one I've seen so far. Um, I'm pretty sure that's wood smoke. I don't think it's uh, an industrial type fire. The wind is blowing away from us, away from the marina. So it's, um, it's going into the mountains. Let's hope there's uh, nobody's houses in the way. Another fire engine. It's funny the helicopter didn't appear to uh, 
I don't know what he's done, love. Just a tiny drop of that on there. And we want one of those. And one of those. That's it. And that goes through that hole there. That goes on there. We'll go on there. Give that an hour, that lock tight rule. That washer goes on there. That goes up through that 8.5mm hole. That goes on there. Lock tight's already on. Pinch that up. Allen key. Oh, things are hotting up. Probably not the right words to use. There's one. There's two. There's a third one just dropped. Two helicopters now. You can hear a third. There's a third, you just see him through the bimini of this boat here. Yeah, he's coming around now. See him there. I'll try and zoom in. Some electronics post production. Still more fire engines. So there were two. So five planes, two helicopters. One was an old Chinook, uh, and there was a, a Sikorsky. This one's going to come right over the top of us. Probably drop salt water on us actually. He's filled up. Straining. Them engines. You see the water coming out the back. You can see that. Another one, they've just done the same. Two of them. They've just scooped. One there. That one there. Oh, it's all excitement, isn't it? They're flying a, like a clockwise pattern around and drop in where we can't see them the other side of the mountain. Well, anything else happens, we'll let you know. So a little bit of tape on there, 120 millimeters from there to there, mark a line. 25 millimeters down there, mark a line, get it in the right place, one handed, and center punch. I need both hands to center punch it. So, so center punch with my auto center punch. 
right on the mark and now I need clearance for an 8 millimeter bolt so about 8.25 or thereabouts and then that will just clear everything in there there's nothing behind there um, a piece of scrap aluminium behind it and what we're going to do is drill that hole in there now I can't hold this absolutely square and the camera and hold the motor as well so um, I'm sure you've all seen a hole being drilled before oh hang on Cindy's going to hold the camera I'm just going to drill that up. Oh, I thought you was putting them on there. On these bits at the back. No. Because then the, then the strap will bind on the um, on the case, won't it? True. If I put them on there, A, that's hollow underneath. Mm. If I put them on there, the angle will come up, it will just rub away at the back. Whereas on the side here, the strap's going to come round. Sink that. That's it. About an hour later, and uh, the fire's still going. There's now three of these big water scooping aircraft flying a clockwise pattern. And a police helicopter here, look. With the holes carefully drilled in the correct position on both sides, it was time to thread the bolts through into the washers and then through the plastic washers and into the ring nuts. A little bit of Loctite made sure that they wouldn't move once in position. Oh, what we've done then is those lines now have quick release carabiners and they're the type that lock into one another so they can't be pulled out. Uh, 316 held with bowlings. What might do is put a stitch through there to stop the bowling coming undone. Should be okay. But basically now the engine gets lifted up and we just unclip these and we've got these solid rings now all in the right place and we've got these nice dome head socket allens on there on that side one on that side as well That means we can lift that up out of the way. Now the really observant among you will notice that this isn't a Yamaha. It's a Taihotsu. And the reason is, before I um, got ill, we ordered one. 
and um, paid a small deposit and of course couldn't then cancel it and so we then sold the Yamaha which was in really good condition and um, got this which is a 10 rather than a 6 and uh, it's made a big difference it's brilliant the fire's still going it doesn't look as intense now a lot more white smoke it's still going and it's a windy old day which probably doesn't help That's not half the boat it used to be. Oh, oh. oh the hell? <laughs> That's the other half. Is it match? Um, I don't know. Could be. <laughs> I've got some sticky tape. We could have a go. Uh, yes, the heating is going. We have to run it every four or five months just to make sure it still runs. And we've been doing some work on the engine, so uh, I disconnected all the pipes. And now I'm just checking that it all runs and it's all okay again. Bag with sailing stuff in there. I'm sorry, I was, was distracted by Marine Superstore, Port Solent. Eight pounds and fifty for ten meters. Now that's at least seven years old I'm guessing from the um, Port Solent Marine Superstore big shout out for them they've got um, a great website and everything that's there is very competitively priced and of course while you're there you can go to our our old marina Port Solent I know you guys Port Solent um, watch the videos your subscribers so big shout out to you really nice place Port Solent um, we went back there last time we were back in the UK a few months ago yeah great anyway yeah so these boxes bloody chainsaw well, I hope you enjoyed that video that's um, a different solution not the one that uh, actually thought we would do but um oh, still good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put something down in the comments. We love reading the comments. And as usual, big thank you to our Patreons. Without yeah. you, this wouldn't be possible. Yeah, thanks, Patreons. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can become a patron. Join the Patreon crew. There's a link in the description. Go over and have a look. And for the price of a cup of coffee, you can help support us make these videos. And look at this view behind you. Yeah, <laughs> this lovely view behind us. And of course you get lots of benefits for being a Patreon as well. Anyway, enough from us. Until next time. See you, bye. S sail safe.